chapter of my life has begun. Already I can feel the weight of this crown I wear. It's been quite amazing the last two years how mm. the public and the industry has embraced you, yeah. even the critics. Like, and there's a moment when your character says, I think it's even in the trailer, where he says, um, I already feel the weight of the crown I wear. And I wonder if you feel that crown. No, I feel no crown. I feel so silly and, uh, and uh, no, I feel big gratitude. I'd so much rather that kind of anxiety than like what college am I going to get into or I can't pay my rent this month or, uh, you know, shit I was dealing with. So <laughs> Somebody had uh, told me about an act in Neo. Uh, how do I not totally reveal it? Somebody who played Bond, whatever, you know, in, in, in the last 70 years, let's say. But just that uh, this person knew this person and who tried to kind of run away from their success at first but was just all the more just confused by it in some way. So Yeah, you know. laying into it. Yeah, inspired by James Bond. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> because you are my friend. King has no friends. King has only followers and foe. Uh, I've interviewed Joel many times, and I know that he's quite a, a funny guy. Um, but he said, and I quote, that the king is uh, Game of Thrones meets Shakespeare with understandable dialogue. Do you agree with that? No. <laughs> no, and Joel regrets saying that. He said it a long time ago. It was like, a, I think it was probably the first interview that either of us have, ever did in which the king was mentioned in any form. And I think he was just trying to... Say something. Uh, so yeah, I just think he was making conversation. <laughs> and he has regretted saying it ever since. I mean, we weren't kind of, you know, we weren't trying to... We weren't trying to make Shakespeare understandable. We had our own thing we wanted to do. Uh, we certainly weren't trying to make Game of Thrones, um, all due respect. Uh, but it was, you know, we very much wanted this thing to be its own creation. Do you agree with me if I say that you have the two new big faces of cinema? Him and Robert. Do you agree, David? Do yeah, no. yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've had the opportunity to work with like two of the most exciting young actors in the world. 